Welcome, my dear students, to this series of learning IBV6 lessons. In this series, we are going to explain one of the most important IBV4 to IBV6 transmission method, which is NAT64. The objective of the lesson is to configure the bind DNS v6 server on Ubuntu server version 18.04 and to configure DHCP v6 server on Cisco router and we need also to configure the NAT64 dynamic stateful on Cisco router and to develop the bind DNS v6 that we already configured it in the first task we need to develop it into dns64 server in terms of software we need to install gns3 with vmware workstation player 12 which is the preferred version and also we need the oracle vm virtual box and in terms of the images, we need to have the CSR 1000V image. This is for iOS XE router that support the NAT64. So we need to have this image. And also we need to have the uh, Ubuntu uh, 18.04 server, which is 64-bit to implement the DNS 64. Before we start, let us explain the topology that we are going to use to implement the NAT64 along with the DNS 64. Uh, we have two networks. In the right side, we, we have IBV4 only network which is consists of one router and the router will act as DHCP v4 uh, v4 server and we have two pcs of course you can add more pcs but we will have only two pcs and this is the ib addresses for this network which is uh, 172 dot twenty dot zero dot zero this uh, interface uh, will take dot one ibv4 address and this interface will take dot two ibv4 address and we have the uh, this network which is 172.30.0.0 and uh, this interface will take dot one uh, IBV4 address and uh, the DHCP server route will assign IBV4 address to these PCs. On the left side we have IBV6 only network which is consists of one router that will act as DHCP v6 to assign IBV6 addresses to the host. This is the Ubuntu server we will configure we will configure the dns v6 then, then we will develop it into dns 64 and we have also the uh, we have also a, a router here this network will take 2001 db8 dda uh, 12 ibv6 address and uh, this interface will take uh, colon colon two and this interface will take colon colon one while the ne the second network will take 2001 db8 dda11 ibv6 address and this interface will take colon colon one uh, and we have a static ibv6 address uh, assigned to this server which is colon colon 2 and a static IBV6 address uh, is assigned to this router R2 uh, which is colon colon 3. To communicate between these two networks between the IBV6 network 
and IPv4 network, we will uh, put the router, which is the uh, iOS XE router, and we will configure uh, the DAT64 on this router. This interface will take IPv6 address and this interface which is GI2 will take IPv4 address so the uh, the NAT64 router okay will uh, allow the communication between these two networks okay that's all for the topology so let us get started